You want to follow the signs of the universe and you want to live a life that is divinely guided. But where do you even start? Here is my five-step process on how to live a life that is more divinely guided. When you live a life that's guided by the universe, it is so much more easy. Life is more joyful, more effortless, and more enjoyable. But if you've never experienced living a life that is guided by the universe, how do you start? I've got a five-step process, which I like to call the ALTAR process, A-L-T-A-R. And it is kind of a coincidence that my altar is right there behind me, but if there's a connection, stay with me. I'm going to explain. So the first step to living a life that is more guided by the universe is to ask. That's the first letter of altar A. A for ask. Ask the universe. In my case, the representative of the universe, of the of the divine on the planet today for me is my guru, Swami Vishwananda, Paramahansa Vishwananda. And so for me, when I have a conversation with the universe, I have a conversation with my guru. Uh, and I ask just in my heart, Guruji, what should I do about this situation? So even if it's something tiny as picking out what to wear in the morning to work, I will often ask, Guruji, is this okay? Should I wear this or should I wear that? That's the first step. A for ask. The second step is to listen. A-L, L for listen. Listen to the answer that you get. And are you going to be listening with your physical ears? Maybe yes, maybe no. It depends on what kind of person you are and how you receive information and feedback. For me, it's just a thought that pops into my head or an image. So coming back to the example of what to wear to work, it could be seeing myself in a certain outfit or a certain shirt, and I'm like, okay, so that's that's what I got to wear today. All right, fine, you're the boss. So that's the second step is to listen. The third step, the third letter in alter, A-L-T. T is for trust. Trust in the guidance that you received. Trust that it is the right thing for you. Even if that shirt and that, you know, you're guided to wear that day to work doesn't quite feel like it's the one, trust that it is. Trust there's a reason that that image popped into your head or you received that specific answer to your question and go with it. There is a deeper reason behind it. Step number four is the fourth letter in alter, A-L-T-A. A is for act. Act on what you heard. So you got the, you asked the question, what should I wear to work today, Guruji? Or what should I wear to work today, universe? And you got an image or you heard uh, guidance. You trust, you listened to it, you trusted it. Now act on it. Get that shirt out of your closet, put it on. Or act on that guidance or intuition that popped up. The fifth step is the fifth letter, A-L-T-A-R. R is for repeat. This is kind of the rinse and repeat formula here. And this is actually very important because if you want to live a life that is guided, life just doesn't happen in one moment and that's it. It's not just one critical moment in your life that's going to determine everything. These critical moments that determine everything happen constantly in life. It's like one moment leads to another that is super critical and shapes the rest of your life, which leads to the next moment, which shapes the rest of your life. You get the idea. So repeat this. Keep asking. Keep listening. Keep trusting. Keep acting. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Have a conversation with the universe. Have a conversation with the inner guru that you have inside of you, that inner light, that inner guidance. And listen for that inner calling because that calling is coming from the divine. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.